today I'm going to show you how to prove these questions. Um, let's start the questions. Question A. So finding the sum of a GP, which is just a formula. I'm going to write this down for you. Z plus Z squared plus Z cubed all the way plus Z n is equals to um, Z times Z to the power of n minus 1 over Z minus 1. So that's just a formula. Okay, question B. To using that, and also let's Z equal to EI theta to proving sine theta plus sine 2 theta plus sine 3 theta, dot dot dot, until sine n theta equals to the right hand side. So by looking at the questions that Z equal to EI theta and also on my left hand side is sine theta, sine 2 theta, that really remind me one important formulas which definitely can help us to prove these questions, which is I'm going to write this formula in red on the side. See if you remember this formula, which is E i n theta minus E negative i n theta is equals to 2 i sine n theta. So this formula is so useful in these questions. As you can see, we have Z equals to E i theta and the proving the left hand side is all the sine theta, sine 2 theta. So this formula is going to help us. So I'm going to show you now how this formula help us to prove the questions. Okay, so firstly, I let z equals to i theta. Okay, so left hand side become e i theta plus e 2 i theta plus e 3 i theta plus dot 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 plus e n i theta is equals to e i theta and the e i n theta minus 1 over e i theta minus 1. So that's very important. We made it. But to able to make a sine theta, sine 2 theta, we need e negative i n theta. But we don't have it at the moment. So I'm going to make my own one. So I'm going to make z negative 1 plus z negative 2 plus z negative 3 all the way to z negative n. So what's that equals to? That equals to z negative 1 and the z negative n minus 1 over z negative 1 minus 1. But to able to get simplifying with my first sentence I have, so I'm going to time z on top and the bottom to make a little bit simpler for this sentence. So become 1 minus z now. And uh, to make the same denominator as the first sentence, I'm going to flip around the denominator z minus 1 with negative in the front, z negative n minus 1. So this sentence will be same denominator with my first sentence, which is it's good. It's ready to go. And then my left hand side is negative 1, they said negative 2, z negative 3, plus dot 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 plus z negative n. Right, now I'm let z equals to uh, e i theta, right? So I get uh, e negative i theta here and the uh, e negative um, 2i theta and the e negative 3i theta dot 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 plus e negative n i theta. So that will be equals to negative and the e negative i n theta minus 1 and the e i theta minus 1. Right, so I actually made two sentences which is ready to using the red formula. If I have I, e i n theta minus negative e negative i n theta, then that will give me sine n theta. Okay, so the two sentences I made, I'm going to highlight it. One is this sentence. This one, I'm going to highlight in yellow, which you can see that sentence, e i theta. And another one is this one, um, e negative i theta, you can see. I'm going to minus these two sentences. So I let the first sentence is sentence one, sentence two. So I'm going to do sentence 1 minus sentence 2. So what I have, I have e i theta minus e negative i theta, which gives me 2i sine theta. And the same with 2i sine 2 theta and 2i sine 3 theta, all the way to 2i sine n theta. Right, and then I'm going to minus my right hand side. Right hand side is pretty big. But good thing is they have same denominator, e i theta minus 1. The numerator is pretty big. So e i theta and the e i n theta minus 1. Minus of minus is actually become plus 
E negative I and theta minus one. So that's my right hand side. So left hand side is very nice. It's almost there, except we have two I, but it's okay to I. We can just uh, using the two I as a common factors are taking out. So I have two I sine n theta plus sine two theta plus sine three theta plus sine n theta. Right hand side, there's a lot of things to go. Um, so numerator, I'm going to just expand it. So e i n plus one theta minus e i theta plus e negative i n theta minus one. So that's my top and my bottom gonna be same e i theta minus one. So left hand side is ready, but right hand side is not yet. So I'm going to do more about e i n theta minus e negative i n theta equal to two i n theta to simplify my right hand side. Because my right hand side in the questions is also um, with the sine theta in there. But right now I don't have the exactly what I need. So I'm going to do something on my right hand side. So I'm going to times e negative i theta on two on top and the bottom. So I'm going to write in green, then maybe understanding. So I times e negative i theta on two on top and on bottom negative i theta on two so why i'm doing this you can see it's very good right now okay i'm going to make it nice so um so e i n plus one theta i'm going to times e negative i theta on two minus e i theta times e negative i theta on two plus e i negative i n theta times e negative i theta on two minus e negative i theta on two so that's my numerator it looks very big and the denominator is e i theta times e negative i theta on two minus e negative i theta on two wow so big but it's actually pretty nice i'm going to use the indices law to actually times them out so the first term, when you times it, you actually plus the power, right? So the first one is going to give me um, E I N plus half theta. And the second one, minus E I theta on two. And the third one is E negative i n plus half theta and the last one is minus e negative i theta on two and my bottom become e uh, i theta on two minus e negative i theta on two wow looks very good i'll tell you why because um you can see i'm going to highlight the blue pair so this one and uh, which one this one it's going to give me two cos n plus half theta. And I'm going to highlight uh, the green. These two. It's going to be give, also give me two cos um, theta on two. And at the bottom, it's going to give me sine again. So it's really good. So I'm going to explain to you the two blue and the two greens. I'm going to use this formula again in here. I write in here. So do you know uh, E... Let's write this down. So it's so it's e to the power of i n theta plus e to the power of negative i n theta is equals to two cos n theta. So this is another formula I'm using here for if they are plus. If they're minus is the sign. If they plus is the cos. So I'm continue to do my question. It's very nice right now. So two blue pair gives me. 2 cos n plus half theta. And the 2 green pair gives me 2 cos theta on 2. And my 2 yellow pair is minus, so it's going to give me 2 i sine theta on 2. And my left hand side is, again, is, what was it? It was 2 i sine theta plus sine 2 theta plus all the way to sine n theta. Right, so to prove the questions, we're almost there. I'm going to uh, divide the 2i on the other side to make exactly 
my left hand side of the questions. So therefore, sine theta plus sine two theta plus dot 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 sine n theta will be equals to the two. I'm going to cancel in here. These two. I'm going to cancel in here. So it's going to be. Under the two i here, and I have i and the sine theta two here, and at the top I'm going to have this. This one is also cancelled. Um, yeah, the two. So the top is become cos n plus half theta, and minus cos theta two. Okay, I'm going to continue. The top is the difference of two cos. So I'm going to using the changing the difference into product to so become negative two sine n plus one over two theta and the sine half theta. So that's the top. And the bottom, the i times i is negative one. So also gonna get negative two sine theta on two. So the two negative cancels. So then in the end we proved is equals to sine n plus one on two theta and the sine theta on two over sine theta on two. Okay, let's continue the question C. Um, you can see the question C, the left hand side is very similar to the left hand side of question B, except the theta looks like it's being replaced by power n. So let's try that. Just replace theta by power n on the left and on the right to see what we have. Okay, let's start. Okay, question C. So left hand side becomes psi pi on n plus psi 2 pi on n plus psi 3 pi on n plus dot dot dot. Uh, second last term becomes psi uh, n minus 1 pi on n and the last one becomes psi pi on n n times pi on n. Yep, that's the one. Yep. Okay, and my right hand side is become sine half of n times pi on n and the sine of half of n minus 1 times pi on n and all over sine half of pi on n. All right, so the last term in here, I'm going to highlight it, this term, because the pi, the n and n can be cancelled, right? So n and n cancel. So it just become um, sine pi. We know sine pi is zero. So this last term just becomes zero now. So we can ignore that term. So then the left-hand side now become sine pi on n plus sine 2 pi on n all the way to psi n minus 1 pi on n. So then plus 0, so I'm going to skip that. So equals to, and this side also we have n and n cancelled. We have sine pi on 2. And we know sine pi on 2 is equals to 1 times sine. Uh, expanding the pi on n inside, n, n and n cancel becomes sine pi on 2 minus um, pi on 2n. And my denominator is going to be just sine pi on 2n. So the right hand side continues simplify. Sine pi on 2 minus sine or minus pi on 2n become cos pi on 2n. And the bottom is still sine pi on 2n. So that exactly gives us cot pi on 2n, which is the question asked to prove.